I'm Top Apopka Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town and Country, and we're at 322 Lake Doe Boulevard, Apopka, Florida, 32703, here in the subdivision of Country Landing. This is a virtual tour to give you a feel for what it's really like to live here after you've looked at the very best pictures posted online on Realtor.com. Homes.com, Zillow, Trulia. How do I know? Because I'm the one who took and posted those pictures. So one of the things I get is, what's it really like to live out here? This is a super neighborhood. House is gorgeous, very affordable. Neighborhood's got great access to the expressway. All the houses are well kept. Country Landings Homeowners Association, $90 a quarter. So you're going to come in off the main road from that direction. Your house is there. And you come down here, and you do have a nice little view of the water as well. So let's go down there and look. So here we are, just a couple of doors down at the end of the street. You can hear all the wildlife in the trees. Got that nice lake view. They're building some houses across the way because this is Central Florida. And we're walking back up the way. You can see by the nice architectural details, quality of the lawn yard. Neighborhood is a great place to be. You can be down by Disney in maybe 40 minutes. And that's way across Central Florida. Get to the beach in probably 50 minutes. That's about as far as you'd want to go here. Centrally located to everywhere. Now these houses were all built in the early 90s. Our house here at 322 was built in 1993 Pretty handy to have your mailbox right out front. Come home, park here, get your mail. And you can see the house is really well kept. 1,276 square feet will be the living area. 1,816 square feet including the garage and all the slabs. Taxes were only $782 last year with Homestead. That's about as cheap as it gets. Nice entry. Let's go in. And here we are inside. Welcome home. 1,276 square feet with lots of upgrades. Place is just so cozy. So you've got a fireplace there. Windows are newer, front door, and look at that flooring. That is good looking flooring there. I don't fall and kill myself. Stainless steel appliances, cabinets have been refaced. One of the things, look at that view right there we're going to go out there and look in just a minute but this is a view as you're looking out your kitchen sink that's a koi pond bird of paradise virtually got your own fruit orchard growing out there kitchen's pretty much in the center of the house lots of detail look at those baseboards those upgraded door trim any little detail that can be done, they have done. Again, we've got the upgraded door trim. Got the office. That rustic feel. Nice windows, you can see. And that great flooring all the way throughout. 
Got the back bedroom. This is bedroom number three of three. Plenty of space. Nice view out the back, for sure. And look at that upgraded bathroom. Those are little ceramic tiles. Look at that sink. Makes you just want to wash your hands. Find a reason to come in and use it. Got the tub with the shower. Looks brand new, like no one's used it. Can't help but wanting to run that thing. Look at the nice trim that was custom done to give you a feel for something other than a track home here. And then we go across to the other side. Got the garage, two car garage, and master bedroom. Again, good color choices, restful, plenty of size. That's a big bed there. We still got plenty of room. Nice view out the back, private, peaceful. Watch your koi. And look at that bathroom. Look at those cabinets. Got a shower only there. Nice features for sure. So now we're going to walk outside. Take a look at one of the best parts of the house, which is the private backyard. Hear that fountain? This place was just made for sitting. Well, the funnest thing is about 35 mature koi in there. And that's pretty deep. That's about three and a half feet deep or so. Got a pretty easy care filter. I think the owner built that himself, he said. And how fun. You come. Sit at this bench, feed your koi after a long day at work. Enjoy your backyard. Just a little grass, just enough to keep you busy. Plenty of nice landscaping. Got your own greenhouse or potting shed. That's not something you can get everywhere you go. And then you've got another little storage shed at the two-car garage shed. Is it quite enough? Space here as well. Night blooming jasmine. It's actually almost blooming, just not night. Those are not Florida muscadine grapes. Those are actual grapes that you can eat right there. Just come and do. So you've got your own vineyard. We've got peach trees. One of them is an apple. These are fig trees. And as Jesus says, does the fig tree have any figs? Got a Japanese plum there or loquat tree. Give you enough fruit for you to eat all year. We have an avocado tree here, which I guess has got so many avocados. If you don't have lots of avocado-loving, guacamole-needing friends, they can become a pestilence. And that is the thing you want, is so many, you don't know what to do with. Got a little bird of paradise, gives you a nice shade here. Got your own hot, hot pepper garden. This is like a walk at Lou Gardens or something. It's October, so we're near the end of the season. You can see it's pretty abundant. This may be the apple, I'd say. And I 
think that's a mango tree right there. See, you got a little grass, got a little covered area, easy care plant beds, kind of place where you want to come out and sit every night. This is Florida living right here. All the advantages of a pool, but you don't have to clean it. You just got to feed the koi. If you're thinking about this house or one house like it here in Apopka, I want you to call me. Top Apopka Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town & Country. Let me get you the inside scoop and help you too.